Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Marwell Manor. It is the second day of summer and uh, and we are a little bit short on cash. We have £1,526. Uh, so we need to do something that's going to bring in a little bit of money. Fortunately, uh, one of the things that we have, uh, because we don't have a lot to do on the farm today, we need to go and give the sheep some water. Uh, but that is, otherwise our sheep are all good. Um, all of our fields, as you can see, are fully fertilised. Um, the exception is field 19 here. Uh, and field 19, uh, we do need to fertilise, but we don't have any money for fertiliser. So, we're going to have a look here. Uh, we have some baling contracts. Baling contracts should cost us nothing to do. Uh, nothing to do. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, uh, as a result, we can, uh, we can grab them fairly easily. Field 13 is the first one we're going to do. Uh, we are going to hire a bale wrapper for this. Now, I want to double check. So, £358 uh, is what it would cost to hire all of the equipment we have here. For us to hire a bale wrapper uh, before we do this. So, uh, let's go and have a look under baling technology. To hire a bale wrapper, which would be uh, this one for the bales that we have. Because uh, I don't think we've got anything else. Nope. Uh, so for the bales we have, uh, we would need uh, this wrapper here. 54,000 would cost us 2,754. So what we're going to do is uh, is we're not going to do that. We're not going to we're not going to probably use our own stuff. We're going to use these two tractors plus the hired one and just do it in one go. So. Uh, let's head back here. We go back here. So 358 is not going to take too much off of here. We will borrow items as well. Uh, so that is all good. Now, we actually, we are going to use our own mowers. And I'm going to hook them up to our 8700, uh, sorry, 870 uh, Axion here. Um, because that will just make things easier for us overall. Uh, the baler that, uh, or sorry, the mower that comes with this contract uh, is a little bit of a pain to uh, to do the setup that we're going to do. So let's go and hook up the ba uh, the mower to the front. Uh, like so. And what we're looking to do with the follow me uh, is basically get... Everything uh, mowed, rowed, and baled in one go. We are on a good drying day, uh, and we are looking to create silage bales here. So, uh, yeah, we absolutely need to make sure... There we go. Uh, ...that what we have here gets turned into silage bales, not into hay bales, because hay bales are going to cause us issues. So, we'll do that. Now, I'm just going to pop over to the shop. Let's have a look here. Uh, and we do have a decent windrower up here. But, I'm going to use our class windrower. So, there we go. Uh, it's about the same width as the one that we have uh, in, the, uh, in the shop. Now, I don't know. This should be about the same width, hopefully as our uh, mowers if it isn't it's going to cause us an issue but i think i think we're all right i think we should be okay looking at the width of this so we'll put this on follow me as well uh, and then we'll head down to the shop and down there what we'll do is uh is we'll go and hook up our well we're going to actually what do we no no we have I think our baler on here, as I, uh, as I said before, as I did before, is a square baler. I, I don't think we're using the round baler uh, with the automatic wrap on it. No, it is the square baler we've got here. Um, now, you can get, I would guess, that our fent down there may have, should have, the square baler down there. But... We will see how it goes. This is going to work nicely, though. 
Right, we got down to the shop in this tractor. Unfortunately, our other tractor seems to have fallen behind. Uh, and that is because we had the uh, things set too low. So we'll just bring this back up. We can catch up with our with our bigger tractor. Uh, and this is the beauty of using this. This, uh, this will easily run our wind rower like this. The fence we've got up at the shop that we're borrowing... Uh, that will run. Uh, that should run everything that's uh, that's included as part of the uh, leased equipment for this. Uh, so that's that'll be really good. Here we go. There we are. So we want to put follow me on this. Bring this up. And oh, fantastic! So what they've given us for this is this. This is a bale and wrap all in one so that is going to be absolutely perfect for this job uh it's uh the fence that we've got here does it have a weight anywhere to go with this uh no it doesn't so that's all fine uh so with the bale the wrapper and the uh, baler is all in one job it just means that all we have to do at the end is uh is hook the uh two bits that you see there and uh, and connect them up and if we connect those up uh then we can just go round the field and uh pick it up so we'll hook this up and we'll go and find the entrance to field 13 now if i remember on this map the entrance to field 13 is a bit of a pain to get to basically uh it's somewhere We'll head back here. We'll turn the grass off. Uh, we'll turn basically turn everything off. So we've got to get here. Uh, I think the entrance is the other side of field 11. Now, if that's the case, I think we get to it somewhere over here. So we'll get this all turned around. We'll have to head round here, I think. Yeah, not using most of the equipment that's included with this contract. But that is fine. There we go. Don't know why that one has stopped. I'll take that off. I'm blocked by an object. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, where, where possible, I like to use my own equipment. But we just don't have a full set of it here. Having this set up, having this uh, this this coon baler on the back of here, really really useful for this type of contract in seasons, because seasons does have a nasty habit of drying stuff out really quickly if you're not careful. Right, let's uh, go find the entrance to field thirteen. And, uh, and see if we can uh, get this on the road. Far side of field 16. And here's a gateway. And it looks like we might have a roadway. Uh, no, maybe not. This field, of course, is not seeded. Thankfully. So we'll head into here and up to this top end now field 13 now field 13 i think we actually access somewhere over this side of the field here ah uh, there we go so there is actually there is a roadway there so down at the edge of field uh field 10 and around the edge of field 11 there is so let's uh we're in a good position here, so let's unfold that. Unfold that, start that up, and drop it down. Now, I don't think I've attached, I don't think I've connected the PTO. That's what this is. There we go. Check our rear PTO. Yes. Right, start that up. And away we go. And when this reaches the other position, we can then start the rear up and drop them down and bring it round like so. 
With that in position, we'll start up our next one. So take the follow me off. Unfold this. Hopefully, we're going to be in a good position. Yeah, there we go. Start it up, drop it down. And that is all good. So this can then... Oh, nope. We then need to get the follow me back on. There we go. And away we go with that. Now we're going to go round this field in circles. There we are. And then finally, take this one off. Unfold the baler, turn it on, drop it down. Yep. And follow that. And let's see if this now works as a setup. I'm very much hoping it's going to. Seems to be. Yep, that is uh, that is pretty cool. Look at that. So we'll keep going round and round this field, uh, getting ourselves in, uh, well, basically just keep going and uh, and hopefully ending up with a whole load of silage bales. Um, we're looking to uh, turn all of them in. We've got no reason to keep any of these bales. Uh, and, uh, and hopefully uh, that means we'll make not just a little bit of money with the, uh, uh, with the contract but maybe a little bit on top as well although i don't know i think it's they keep as grass bales so uh we may if we want to sell them just have to get rid of the ones that uh that are needed for the contract hold on to the other ones until uh we can sell them as silage bales We're getting quite a lot of bales off here, actually, considering that uh, we've only we can only remove four at a time from the field. Uh, this is going to take a little while to get these uh, off. The other advantage of those, though, is that we'll be able to tell fairly quickly um, how many we need. It's normally about eighty percent, um, but uh, here it's. Uh, here it seems to be running quite well. And we've got the three uh, tractors working in tandem. It's it's really, really nice. Um, the fence is stopping, is being a bit slower than the rest. Uh, but that's kind of to be expected. Seeing as we are... Uh, seeing as that is having to stop on a regular basis. My worry about it is making sure that it doesn't uh, get too far behind and lose the trail because obviously that would then be a bad thing uh we would be in, uh, we'd be hard pressed well we 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 got the the road to follow um but we'd have to go and do that bit ourselves uh now the the wind rower is following behind really nicely is is keeping a, a really good uh follow behind so i'm happy with that it's uh, it's all going really well actually we should make quite a good amount of money off this um, off this contract, which is always a good thing to see. Looks like a few of the bales have rolled. Yeah, and here was here's what I uh, was worried about. The trail has been lost by our uh, our tract here, so we're going to jump into the fence. We're just going to run around the field here. So start this up. Uh, it's almost full. Right, and while that is uh, wrapping, we can keep going. Yeah, it's filling fairly quickly. This field is uh, is in pretty good condition, to be honest. Uh, and as a result, there we go. And the wrap is quite quickly. That that does do a wrap quite quickly. Now you can see why. We've got a lot of bales rolling because that un not only wraps quickly, it unloads quickly as well. So, uh, yeah, it's, it kind of fires those bales out the back. 
and that means that uh, this side here there we go, that one is going out and away we go uh, yeah, it's a lot of bales here it really is I'm, uh, I'm quite pleased with this setup uh, but we need to get this to catch up now with uh, the other ones. So uh, let's uh, let's just keep going, and uh, and we'll be up and uh, and running again in no time. Okay, we are uh, back with uh, all three of our tractors in close proximity. So let's get this mowing again. And if we go at a reasonable pace, uh, we shouldn't have any issues. Uh, we're getting to the point in this field, actually, where we just want to be going up and down, really. So I think I'm going to start doing that. Uh, but yeah, this is this has worked well. We are All of our bales are silage bales. They have all wrapped, uh, which is good. We've, uh, we've not lost any of our grass to that because we are basically going... Uh, we're going straight up and, uh, and just wrapping exactly what we cut straight away. Uh, now, if we do this like this, uh, we should also avoid hitting, uh, striking any bales with uh, any of our equipment going forward as well. Uh, which th I think is why some of our stuff has rolled as well. We have a lot of stuff to pull out of hedgerows. Uh, but that's all good. That's all fine. What I'm tempted to do as well, actually, is go and get a, uh, uh, a bale attachment for our uh, front loader, and uh, and use rather than use those uh, those ones that we've got. Uh, get whoa, get all of this. That would not be good. That would both damage this and damage the bale. I think we got lucky there. Um, uh, but yeah, that would uh, it would sort of allow us to uh, to get these stacked on the trailer without too much difficulty, uh, and uh, and get this uh, and get these back a lot quicker as a result. Uh, as I said, I think we need about eighty percent of the bales we've got, so we'll have to have a quick head count at the end because unfortunately the game doesn't count bales in the or it doesn't count. Uh, these type of bales are contract bales uh, when you do a uh, when you have a look at the how many bales have I made this session count um, it is quite a few actually here I'm uh, I am impressed by how many we've got in this field but it's far more than uh, than I would like to collect up for us time I think that's that that would be a little bit painful to be honest So what we're going to do is uh, is we're going to get this to here. Finish off this. There we go. Uh, turn this off. Right off and fold and up. Switch off fold and that will bring that up automatically and then we can just bring these to the edge of the field like so and some leap stop that and fold it up and that is that job then done as well uh, and yeah if we if we get a um, a round bale uh, connector or a round bale uh, grab for this. Now, I think we can just hire one. Uh, I don't think we need to actually uh, fully uh, go all in. Uh, yeah, 1,100. It'll cost us uh, £56 to hire it. We will get it in the class red as we do everything else. And we will lease that. Because we're not going to be... Uh, well, it cost us 66 because we uh, we changed the colour. But we can go and pick that up now as well. I just want to wait for 
the other tracks finished because otherwise this will lose the course and then we'll be in trouble so we're gonna take our two main tractors back to the yard this one we can just sort of park out the way uh, and we're gonna go back we're gonna get the it runner with the bale trailer on and uh, i'm just gonna pop to the shop uh, and uh, once we've got the front loader on this and uh, and we'll pop back to the field with those uh, but i think this this is at 88%. So let's turn that off. We may have a couple of bits of grass hanging around the edge of this field that we can just grab to finish this bale off. Is there enough around here? Because if one more bale always, always is worth just that little bit of money to us. I'm not sure there is enough. It's really annoying because there's lots of little bits of grass hanging about here. But nothing that would be... Uh, nothing that's going to make up 10%, I don't think. Yeah, even in this corner here. There seems to be a fair amount. Is it enough? Oh, it took us up to 93%. But I think that's it. I don't think we have enough grass left on this field to top off this final bale, unfortunately. So we're going to have to leave this at that. So let's go park this at the side of the field, out of the way. Uh, ready for us to return in a bit. Well, these two, we will take back to our farm. So I'm going to go and switch this stuff around and uh, and we will be back in a minute with our new, uh, with our replacement bits of kit. We're heading back to the field now and I've got, uh, I've got my bale grab on the front. So this is uh, a, actually it's a round bale handler. Uh, it's quite a neat, neat piece of kit, this. Uh, allows us to pick up round bales without damaging them uh, which is going to be quite useful considering uh, how many we've got to pick up uh, so I want to get I think this is probably in a pretty good place anyway but we'll turn the follow me off I think we'll turn it 90 degrees I'm not too worried about the height on this. Uh, I think we should be able to load these onto here fairly easily. Um, but this will be uh, this will just take us fewer uh, goes in order to do this job. So bring this in, uh, bring ourselves nice and straight onto these, like so. And then once you're in position, close it up load it up and like that and then the hope is that it's then easier for us to uh, unload them onto the trailer and to uh, to make stacks with so i was hoping not to catch that bale then i will admit but we have so uh, we're gonna have to deal with that in a moment so yeah down like that and uh, and out it's not too bad that so I open this one up and uh, we'll try and get the next one. And if we can do them in twos, we can strap them down and make some good piles. But this is where we start getting a bit tight on some of them. But yeah, you see it just gives us that little bit of extra control for us to uh, to go and get them stacked and get them stacked neatly you know we should be able to have these positioned on here really well but dropping them into position is the thing that is going to be uh, going to be crucial to getting as many of these on here as possible right so there we go all right, let's strap that down. And then we that gives us a good starting point for these. Open up. 
out. Start getting them out of the hedgerows now as well. Whoa, that one I think was under the tree. Which means that we've not got such a good hold on it. So, plenty of these to be collecting up and, uh, and dealing with. Hopefully, we should have this trailer loaded up fairly quickly. I'm quite glad that I have decided to uh, to use our trailer rather than um, rather than the uh, the pieces of kit that it gave to us um, that we were that, that we here with. Uh, that's because, as you can see, we've got uh, what we've got ten. Uh, this will be 18 once we got these two on here um, 18 bales is quite a bit especially considering what uh, what one two uh, three four five six seven eight uh, nine ten I think including the ones that are in the uh, uh, they're in the hedgerow so there's still quite a few bales to get off here um, it is five past six so what we're going to do, uh, I think, is we're going to go and try and drop these off today uh, to finish this off, to round this off. Yeah, we definitely got a couple in the hedge over here. Uh, so uh, this will be a nice full trailer. Um, to have 10 more, that means that we've got at least a row. In fact, I think there might be two in this hedge here. Oh, there's several in this hedge here. So, uh, yeah, lots to actually pull out of here. And, uh, and see if we can go. Because the thing is, yeah, these ones in here, we want to make sure we get out and, uh, and get loaded up. So we've got several in the hedgerow. Uh, but I think we should grab this. We will see how many uh, this gives us. Uh, or how what percentage this goes. Uh, and that will give us an easy way of telling how many more bales uh, we need to deliver. Uh, as I said earlier, we've got to be careful because grass bales uh, are worth nothing in seasons. And so if we deliver any extra bales as it stands at the moment, we won't make any extra money. Uh, so I want to make sure that we don't get hit by that. Let's... Bring that in. Drop that under there. Like that. And then we can just put this on the last bit. So we've got 18 here. As I said, I think we've got 10 more left. Uh, so that would be uh, a total of 28 bales. I think we may have slightly more than 10 left, actually. Uh, whoa. Too far forward. We've got... Oh! half tempted just to strap that on there like that but it isn't gonna it isn't gonna hold so let's just push this onto here like so I'm quite a, a, this is not a piece of kit this uh, this bale um, this round bale handler that I'd overly used before ah, this version of the game uh, really really useful actually no that is not coming on we need to push that other bale on a little bit further oh. but not before we move this one out of the way that is uh, that is slightly annoying yeah we might have to push that other bale on a little bit first so let's just pick this back up it's good, but uh, it's the most effective way I've found so far of handling these bales. Uh, but it really, really is a case of getting things in the right place. Um, I'm quite pleased with how well this is stacked. I'm not, I'm not done too badly here. I think it has taken a little while. Uh, this is this is one of my longer recordings. Uh, that I've done for a while. There we go. See, that's moving across a bit now. There we are. So, open this up uh, and then back off, and that should then just sit where we want it to sit. 
absolutely perfect. Right, so let's uh, let's take this. Uh, we'll go and see how much uh, this is going to give us, uh, and then I think we might uh, just sort of open next time with the last few. Uh, but this is what we're going to go and do. Let's go see where these need to be delivered. Uh, so we're twenty percent of the way through this. This needs to go to Southview Barn. So let's pull up uh, this Southview's barn. Can we see that on the map? Should be flushing now. Southview's barn is uh, is up there. Uh, so across field 11, 16. Yeah, that way. Let's go and uh, and get these delivered. And hopefully, hopefully this is going to move us nicely along in this contract here we go Southview Barnes just on our left here it's actually in the pig yard which is quite cool yeah Southview Farms So bring this over here. And this is where having the IT runner really, really comes into effect. We just basically can pull this all the way around here and then just unload the IT runner, unfold it. And uh, and it will put all of these into the cell point. So we'll pop out side like so. You can see it's 16% transported, so that's really good. Unfold this, and it will just fold the rest of those into the cell point. And we are 75% transported with 13 bales. That actually is a little bit... Uh, sorry, 18 bales. So that's a little bit surprising. Not much more to, uh, to transport with that, I don't think. So, uh, yeah, I might go and grab the last few quickly, I think. So, by my calculations, we've delivered 18 bales. Uh, 18 bales is 75%. So, another six bales should complete this contract. So, that's what we're going to do. Uh, that means uh, three bales aside, which means we just need one pyramid. Um... Or just six bales on there. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to get this finished and done and dusted. It may take less than six bales because uh, one thing I did note earlier is that uh, we had a 20% setup already. Uh, but I, uh, I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to go with six bales. Now, six bales should be, in fact, six bales really quick to load what we just do six bales along the middle of the trailer i think that would do it really really quickly there is space for at least five across the middle of the trailer uh, we know that from the last lot so that would probably finish it on its own uh with five of them but I don't want to risk it. As I said, we're going to do six. Uh, make sure that we get this done fairly quickly. So, uh, yeah, once we've got these six loaded on here, uh, we'll head down and, uh, and drop them off. And hopefully that will be the end of this contract. One more bale and uh, we'll get this on. We'll strap them all down and we will head back and uh, and see if this contract is complete uh one of the nice things about summer is it's light pretty late it's now quarter past eight in game but this should complete this contract uh bail contracts are always worth a lot of money because they do take time to do uh, and they do take time to uh finish off but uh, let's turn this off because we can clear all these up later. We'll apply the straps so that's everything strapped down. Let's go and see if 
this is going to complete our contract and hopefully bring us in some much, much needed money uh, for us to move forward with and maybe do a couple of fertilizing contracts. That will be simpler. Back into the pig farm where we need to deliver these bales to and hopefully, fingers crossed, this will complete it. We've then just got a few bales to pick up from that field. Uh, I can do that uh, off camera. Uh, we'll get that sorted before next time. But let's see, does this work? Does this complete our contract? 83%, 87%, 91%, 95 And the contract is complete. Yes, yeah, six bales. Absolutely perfect for finishing off this contract. So that is it. We are going to just collect for the contract. Uh, so there we are, completed 9,087. So we'll collect that. Absolutely perfect. Uh, and brilliant. So we uh, we have a few bells to collect up from that field. So we'll go over there and sort that out in a moment. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.